So every day, a Jew is called to do something called a mitzvah. A mitzvah literally translates into commandments. Right? Another way of thinking about it is uh, good deeds. So the reason we do these mitzvahs is to connect closer to Hashem. Hashem is God. And there's 613 that are actually written down that we're supposed to be following. And above and beyond that, it's just general good deeds. Yeah, holding doors open, helping people out, things like that, working in the community. So one of the mitzvot I do every day is I put on my tzitzah. Uh, another mitzvah I try to do every day, but I do mess up sometimes, is wrap myself in the tefillin, put on my tefillin. Now, I'm going to try to show you guys what a tefillin is here in a minute. Because I'm in D.C. and it's Shabbat, it's Friday, day of rest. And I'm trying to find a Chabad that's open where I can go and just wrap myself uh, before I fly out this afternoon back to Jersey. So, yeah, figured I'd show you guys this. It's something I love to do on a regular. It makes me feel proud, happy, connect with God, connect with my people. So sit back, relax, and hopefully I'll be able to show it to you. And if not, I'll roll some B-roll and show you guys what it's like and come right back. Tefillin is a Jewish practice that's been passed down for thousands of years and from generation to generation. Traditionally, tefillin are worn during weekday morning prayers. Before putting the tefillin on, some have the custom of putting on a talit, or prayer shawl. He wraps his head in the shawl for privacy between him and God while he makes a blessing. These black boxes are called tefillin, and inside are parchments of Torah verses. There are two sets, one for the arm and one for the head. When he puts it on his arm, it faces his heart, symbolizing the profound connection between his prayer and his innermost emotions. He wraps it seven times around his arm. After that, he puts the other set on his head. It has to be perfectly aligned between his eyes. Now, he goes back to his hand and forms the Hebrew letter Shin symbolizing the presence of God's name within his prayer. Tefillin serves to connect thoughts and feelings to God. Tefillin focuses on the head, heart, and hand, representing thoughts, emotions, and actions. So guys, I'm back in the hotel, obviously, and by now you've seen the B-roll or photos of someone putting on tefillin. I still got to find it for y'all. But anyways, I, I went to the Chabad. I did put on the tefillin. I just didn't feel comfortable recording it, but that is what it is. Listen, I love Chabad. If you're a Jew out there that's looking to like reconnect with the community and get back into the faith, I definitely recommend Chabad. Now, plenty of synagogues out there, and I'm sure there are plenty really good ones. Personally, I just connect with Chabad. They're so warm and welcoming to Jews of all backgrounds, all you know, lifestyles, whatever. But anyways, uh yeah i hope you guys got something out of this uh maybe you learned something new about jews and judaism that's cool personally i'm on a path to become more observant uh i'm working towards becoming what's called shomer shabbos that means actually uh observing the sabbath that's where friday night you go to chabad or you go to synagogue you do your prayers you uh, disconnect from technology, basically, for an entire 24 hours until Saturday's uh, sunset. And you do you reconnect with your community. Yeah, I'm working on becoming, uh, having a kosher home. It's just, oh, I can't explain it. it it's great feeling. Anyways, uh, yeah, like I said, I hope you guys got something out of this. I hope you liked the video. If you did, didn't, whatever, comment down below, share, like, and all that good stuff. And until next time, may the best of your today be the worst of your tomorrow. Shabbat Shalom, and I'll catch you on the next one.